Kaminsky here at the Patriot League Men's Basketball Media Day with Boston University head coach Joe Jones. Coach, welcome. <laughs> it's great to be here. So also welcome to the Patriot League. It's your first season in the league. What are you looking forward to this year? Wow, there's so many things I'm looking forward to. Um, but, you know, right now we're just really excited. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us as a university to be aligned with such great schools. I have great history with a lot of the coaches here and, and, uh, and, and know of them and have competed against them, have coached against some of them like Matt Langer when he was a player uh, at Penn. Uh, it's going to be great. So we're really excited as a program. I'm personally excited because I have great respect for the coaches in this league. They've accomplished so much. Uh, when you talk about non-conference wins like Kansas and Syracuse and Purdue and Duke, um, you know, Arizona, you know, you're talking about uh, some great achievements that these, these programs have been able to achieve. So we're looking forward to, to um, you know, going up against them. DJ Irving was picked as the preseason player of the year, and your team was chosen to be number one in the poll. What's it like to have that respect right from the get-go? <laughs> is that what it is? It's respect? <laughs> um, you know, my buddies uh, picked us first, so, you know, we're, 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 but we're excited. You know, it's, uh, we all know that, you know, the, the championship's not won in October, that we have to earn it. Um, but it's a, it's a nice honor. Because the league is such a great league, uh, it's an honor to, to be chosen number one. But uh, we know that we have, we have a lot of work cut out for us. What can we expect to see from DJ this season? Well, you know, DJ has grown every year, um, you know, really some, from his freshman year to his sophomore year and then his junior year last year. Uh, the thing that I'm looking for him to, to be is just more efficient in what he does uh, to improve um, in all aspects of the game, but also be, to become a, a, a better defensive player um, is one of the things that we, we want to give him the responsibility of, as well as scoring and assists and rebounding and, and, and helping run our team. So he's got a lot, but I think he can, he can handle it and... Um, you know, he's a reason why we're, we're picked to, to, to win this thing. And it's not just because he's a terrific basketball player. It's, it's more about the type of person that he is. Maurice Watson Jr. had a great freshman campaign for you, and he averaged 11.2 points per game and dished out 162 assists. What does he bring to your team? Well, he's a dynamic guard. He's a fun kid to watch. Um, he's such an unselfish guy. He, he really understands the game. He's a student of the game. He wants to get better. He has a lot of pride. Uh, he brings that Philadelphia toughness like DJ does that I love. Um, you know, those two guys together, um, you know, they, they, they can wreak havoc out there. And they're, you know, they're fun to, fun to coach. Don Morris also had a key role last season. Can you talk about him and what he brings to the team? Well, he really evolved into a terrific player. You know, you're talking about a guy that went from shooting about 40, 49% to 58% in one season. Uh, he got his body weight down, uh, he, he, he dropped weight, he got more athletic, he was much quicker, um, and he had a, just a terrific year uh, for us. And he was a big key, for, he's a big key for us. Uh, when he plays well and he's able to play 30 minutes, 32 minutes a game, you know, we're a much better team. And, um, and we're, we're very proud and pleased with what Dom did, and we're looking for him to take another step as well um, as an all-around player. Do you have any other players or newcomers that you expect to do very well this season? Well, I, I really think uh, um, the key to our team are really uh, some of our guys that we bring off the bench. And, and, and two of the key starters, Malik Thomas, um, who starts as, as a forward for us, and John Papali, who led the league in three-point shooting last year, were big parts of, of what, we, what we do. Malik is such a dynamic player and has just an array of talent uh, in a lot of aspects. Uh, he's a big kid, but he can handle the ball. He can shoot the ball. Uh, he can drive it, get to the foul line. John's a great shooter. He's a very efficient player. Uh, but guys like Travis Robinson is almost like an unsung hero for us because every day in practice, no one's working harder than, than him. And you have to have guys like that. You can't win if you don't have kids like Travis. You know, he's another captain. He's, a, he's an outspoken leader. Uh, and he's just one of those guys who's willing to do whatever it takes to win. Um, but, you know, the rest of our guys, Cedric Hankerson, who's a freshman this year, is going to be coming off the bench. Justin Alston, who's got a broken foot right now, will be coming off the bench. And Dylan Haynes. So, we, you know, a lot of it is going to come down to how productive our uh, guys off the bench are. Nate Dudenay is another guy that, that um, we have big hopes for that does a lot of things that – that uh, aren't recognized. You know, a lot of people are going to talk about DJ and Maurice and Dom, um, but guys like Travis and Nate and Justin and Cedric, those are the guys that, that really are going to be very important for us if we're going to make the run that we want to make. Well, Coach, thanks so much. It's been great chatting with you. Good luck this season. Thank you.